Your Parents Godhood. March 14, 2013. Beloveds, we are the Arcturians. In your world you experience a special complication which is unknown in our society. When you are born into a family you not only bring with you your own karmas but you also associate and take on, naturally, the karmas of your parents. This you often tend to forget. These karmas are deeply being ingrained into your DNA and genetic code, not because you share necessarily an unchangeable fate of their destiny, but because you, unconsciously as a child, take on their belief system, their perception of the world and other limiting conditions, and thereby you adopt involuntarily their energy field and vibration, that is being created by these belief systems and perceptions. Your scientists have however proven that the information in your DNA and genes is not a fixed inevitability, but that it is a matter of frequency that can be changed when you change your thought field. To rise your light quotient in the process of ascension it is then required that you become aware of, and identify in a distinct way the frequencies of both your parents, that have become part of your own energy field and which you are tending to unconsciously live. In our enlightened and advanced society this problem does not exist as children are created, born and raised in an environment of pure spirit. We are therefore always directly connected to source and we do not have the ego as you have it, that usually interferes with your divine and original nature. On your earth however, even the best and loving parents carry significant vibratory limitations because of their imperfect point of view and their bondage to an enslaved society, where free will, love and happiness can only be lived to a certain degree, in the most fortunate circumstance. Only in due course of spiritual awakening it has been possible for a human being in the past, to step out of the ancestral bondage to involuntary programming. This required usually a long and difficult spiritual practice, sometimes over many lifetimes. Now, by divine grace, ascension or spiritual liberation and enlightenment is being offered to all humanity, whereby ancestral karmas can now be healed in a relatively short time by consciously releasing them. This means that humanity is now given the opportunity to free itself from the foundation and dark past of their ancestral history. It happens through those of you who are committed to participate in the liberation of humanity into the freedom of light love and radiance that is your true divine being and heritage. But to free yourself from the vibrational bondage of your parents and subsequently your ancestors, you must first find out every detail of your own bondage to them, as any bondage holds a denser vibration and is not an expression of your free divinity. To discover these details it is helpful to initiate an inner ongoing dialogue with your parents. Be very vigilant when you do this, which can be done best in writing. This will give you hints to your unconscious interactions with them that is mostly an automatic process that you normally are not aware of and that belongs to your unconscious persona identity. Look for the feelings of tension and those you rather would like to avoid. They show you when you must do the work. If you observe this process over a time, you will discover your mutual dependency acted out in certain rules and patterns that need to be recognized for what they are and to be surrendered to the pure radiance, by accepting and releasing them into the frequency of love. This is not so much a mental process but it happens on the energy level, if it is real in your case, as you let go and forgive yourself and them. This raises your frequency. In the same way as you are in reality a free divine being, your parents are too. And when you can recognize them fully as such, only from then on you will truly love them, as they have become the god and the goddess again, who they in truth always have been. This frees your DNA, your genes and your body cells from all limited and dense information and allows the divine love light to fully enter your body, your mother becomes pure radiance, and your father pure consciousness. This alchemical process is the true gift of a human birth and the true gift of parents to their children and vice versa. What has been very difficult for millenniums on your world is now very much supported by the currents of light which are sweeping your planet. Whatever you consciously truly release, is liberated by these forces. You see, without such liberation from your ancestral heritage, true ascension is not possible. But you all, who serve the light, are here to free yourself not only from your own karmic bondage to the karmas of your family, 
but help the karmas of your ancestors to be dissolved as well. While you recognize the godhood of your parents as current and radiance of light and consciousness in your own body, your own godhood fully emerges. This is so as you have released all ancestral density and the bondage to it in your own body-mind. You have transcended thereby and freed all karmas that held you and your parents in the world of limitation and suffering. While this process does not end with your parents, as we indicated, it must also be applied lovingly to the parents of your parents, and so on. There is much work to do, but you will discover that the process becomes easier and quicker, once you have set your parents and yourself free. Please understand that ultimately this process is about understanding and letting go of all the limiting patterns of beliefs and emotions which you exhibit. Observe them all, they are to a great degree the patterns of your ancestors which to release you have been incarnating here. None of them are truly yours, never have been. It is only that you decided at a time to take them on and to identify with them, while you believe that they are you. And so it is about shedding all what you are not. This serves your own process and the liberation of your ancestors who have been frozen for millenniums in the pattern of self-forgetfulness. Understand your content as your heritage of a collective consciousness which you share with others as a member of your blood family, your tribe, social environment, nation and of whole humankind. Be aware that you are none of all of it, but that your true nature is radiant love bliss consciousness. Beloved humanity, transcend everything that is less, into that, and stand as the divine godhood that you are. Be blessed. We are the Arcturians. Channeled by Utaposagarudel. Radiantlyhappy.blogspot.com